We've been trying to leave for an hour. We're heading to Bristol Motor Speedway in Tennessee for Cletus McFarland's YouTuber race. This is the first stint of our big trip. We are going to Bristol, Kentucky, Illinois, Wisconsin, and there's a special group of people up in Minnesota. You might be already guessed it. We're gonna go collab with the Sea Boys next week. So we're going on a two and a half week road trip. And we're gonna bring you guys along. Get ready for it. <laughs> Miller's hiding. Come on, let's get him in the truck. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in the truck! We're leaving! Hey, yo, buddy's repping the MCPG today. <laughs> Until I take it off. Guys, we finally made it to Bristol Speedway. They just already did the driver's meeting, but we're parked in like the YouTubers lot. Getting ready to go get our passes to get inside, and then pretty much get everything set up and catch you guys inside, so we'll see you in a minute. Holy shit, this is steep. I was watching the video of them trying to get the toter homes in here and shit. That was rough. All right, so yesterday we missed it, but they did the burnout competition. Look at the black spot. We weren't here, but we'll throw some clips into that. they clean that up they won't that'll just stay there forever like that won't go away i'm surprised they let them do that all right guys this video is going to be all over the place we just got here we're kind of just walking around waiting apparently there's 35,000 people here yesterday which is really crazy congratulations to Cletus to host an event that big so right now nothing's really going on so we're going to go grab some food and we'll pick you guys up when something cool happens All right, guys, this is Mo. I'm, I'm he races dirt picks. Dirt Stop, dude, that gets me going. So they're, uh, yeah, what are they doing here, Mo? Qualify. Me and Mo are gonna stand yeah. here and watch these people drive Crown Vicks around in a circle. Probably only gonna be entertained when they wreck each other. All right, so this next idea, we get 100,000 likes. We're gonna watch line the up. paint, bro, watch the paint. Line up, oh, <laughs> So they just finished up qualifying, going with place, maybe look. Look at the sign, we got Hunt first, Brad Bernie in second, Haley in third. I'm really curious to see how some of the non-racers perform after this. We're gonna try to make this interesting, and then we'll probably pick you guys up after the race, and we're probably gonna do some exploring on the side by side in a little while. Missed it? Oh, I watched. Oh, I was too man. far. Right around that corner. Martinez, I was sitting there bumping into Nick, and Nick wouldn't give the inside line for Haley. Haley was trying to use nitrous to get around him. Nick got bumped and just pit maneuvered Haley, and they both just spun. Haley hit that wall hard. This event. So here's Kevin KSR. So here's a replay. So look, you see Kevin kind of squeeze in. Ooh, we. Coming across. All of this happened before getting pitched. Which is crazy. Look at her seat. Look at how shifted her seat got. So let's go over to Nick's car. His car got this. Same because I thought he was out, but it'll be okay. I know how to fix it. Whee! The fireman! All right, well, now that we're down to 11 cars from 30, we're basically rooting for Brad now, because he just, if his car survives, he's got a good chance of winning, honestly, and he's probably the best out. All right guys, that was Bristol Racing for you. That's the end of the event here. We're gonna move on to the next leg of our trip. We're gonna go grab a hotel tonight and head on over there. See what's in store for the rest of the video. Oh, you need a van for tonight? <laughs> 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, chill. <laughs> chill, bro. I don't want my hair to take it off. Right here. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that was all. Alright, bring it back. <laughs> All right, so we left Bristol last night pretty late. We are at Wildcat Adventures. So we just rolled up to Wildcat because Windrock got rained out, which we're kind of bumming about. We really wanted to go ride and explore there. We were possibly going to meet up with Side by Side Vlogs, but they headed on home. So we're going to find some cool trails and then probably grab another hotel tonight and continue on to the next park, which will be the next video. So we catch you guys on the GoPros. Hi. Right. Now we can start riding. Oh, dude, we forgot the map. So yeah, what did you think of Bristol? See, I never went to the Freedom Factory, so that was like really big. So like, to me, Bri okay, so Cleet is hosting his event at Bristol is pretty dope. I think when he hosts at Freedom Factory is way more like welcoming feeling, I guess. And that was the first one that Garrett's ever done at Bristol. So obviously like you're gonna learn a lot for the next event. It was still a great time. And it was awesome to see a lot of people I've met before and meet a handful of new people. So, all right, so we're on. We went across the road at Wildcat. We're going to go explore this side. And then if we have more time, we'll go explore the big side. Apparently, these trails are pretty, like, they have hot, hard spots like that. And then most of it's pretty straightforward. All right, put that away. I'm not even going to look at it. We're just going to go for it. Anyway, Bristol is pretty wild to think about the fact that a random YouTuber just hosts an event and had freaking 30,000 plus people there. The fact that he rented out an entire racetrack to host his own race is pretty badass. You don't hear about that. Did you ever let air out of your tires? Yeah, it's because you got friggin' 30 pounds of air in your tires, bud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go this road right here? Heck yeah. Oh, this is fucking sick. This is pretty cool. This is super cool. This cave just goes over you. This is sick. We've literally been here for three minutes. Yeah, North Carolina rides all freaking flat. I wish I had spray paint, I would spray paint my name. I would definitely try to do it all the way up there too. Look at how far back this goes. Look at the dirt that's coming down from above. It's definitely where people come back to shit. Oh, this is sick. I mean, oh, look at this giant frog. We need to figure out how to either get on top of this or there is a spot where we can get on top and like, so that's like our end goal is to work our way that way. I wanna find more spots. All right, 50D, power grid. All right, so we're like right here somewhere. I need to get mirrors, I can't see Miller. This whole like rock thing is so much different than North Carolina. Dude, North Carolina is just flat. I mean, we have some hills, but nothing like this. Oh, this is super cool too, what the freak? Oh, this is so dope. So at the end of this trip, we're basically going to Sea Boys for a few days. So like, that's the part of the trip I'm really stoked for. But I was like, oh, I definitely want to stop in Tennessee and Kentucky and Illinois to ride a little bit. And I'm so glad we are. Dude, this is dope. I want to take Snapchat to this. Guys, add me on Snapchat. Oh my god, open, would you? Guys, add me on Snapchat. This is where you see all the instant updates. We messed up without bringing spray paint to leave our mark. Holy sh**. This is so cool. Dude, this is dope. It was funny because earlier today I was kind of like, not bumming, but just like losing enthusiasm. Because we are out riding, like we weren't doing anything. Dude, that is a, that's a Can-Am picture right there. Alright, so apparently Dome is wildcat dome you can see the lake and it's cool overlook but it says steep grade so should we go four low or four high up here yeah we can go four high. yeah we'll just romp it oh that's not that bad oh yeah oh that's so sick <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Boy, she tooted. That's how I changed my diff fluid. That was actually perfect. I'm surprised it didn't fall off the front of that. I was not expecting this at all. You could be such a dick and throw a rock off. Dude, look, look at this just drop. You know what would be so sick? A zip line from here over the water. That would be dope. You need to adjust anything, service, work on anything, change your diff fluids. I'm surprised I didn't fall over the front of that. So honestly, like rating wise, I'm giving this like a nine out of 10. But to be fair, if you've been here before, you're probably like, oh, it's boring, there's nothing fun. But for a cool factor and I've never been here, nine out of 10. Ride quality, seven out of 10. Is that fair? Yes. That's accurate. Luke's like, I'm gonna wait till you get down so I don't have to climb up there. <sighs> I don't feel like doing this. <sighs> Luke, why'd I park up here? Ow! That was cool. 
All right, let's work our way out of here and get to the other side of the park. <laughs> it's just like a four foot drop right there. Guys, a lot of like the regular riding we cut out, we're really only showing you the really good highlights. If it feels like we made it through this park kind of quick, it's still there's a lot more riding going on. I know Miller's having a ball. It's his first side by side. He's only got like 200 miles on it. I've already have a thousand on this, so that's five times the amount I was riding, and then I had 3,000 on my old one. Don't get me wrong, I still have so much fun ripping, but I know Miller's just back there geeking. I'm so happy he finally got a side by side. This place is way better than Carolina Adventure World. Trails are way nicer, views are way cooler. It's extremely cheaper. If I had this near me, I would never ever go to Carolina Adventure World. I'm talking, we're riding Luke's just over here macking down on chicken nuggets. <laughs> but he acts like he's never eaten a meal in his life every time he eats food. Hey, you know what's nice about having smart jacks? You're getting jarred around the whole time we're riding smooth. He's gonna just keep eating his chicken nuggets while we're riding. Miller's over here like shaw, 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 the whole time. We're just I'm not even bothering hitting hill climbs right now. Like I need this thing to last until we get to Sea Boys. I'm not trying to break something right now. Once we get to Sea Boys second day, first day I'm taking a calm, second day I don't give a shit anymore. Miller had a good point. He was saying about like it probably looks like we're avoiding a lot of stuff, which we kind of are. Like, we still have two weeks of road trip to go, or, and I need my X3 to last me that long. And as you guys know, I'm pretty good at breaking them. This hill's definitely like, that rut swallows my entire tire. I feel like I'm getting ready to roll. Not yet, but like, <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> nope, all right. Yeah, free spool and just go to that tree over there. If I had 35s, would probably help, because like right now I'm just spinning, I have no ground clearance. Can't say I didn't try a hill climb, but I already knew that I had the wrong tires for this. Like these are 30s, any 35s. That's two and a half inches of ground clearance that I don't have right, you know. No wonder I wasn't making it up, but as soon as I got up on that, I was bottoming out and my tire was up against this. All right, so anyway, like I was saying earlier, it's starting to drizzle. We're heading back to the truck. This place has been super fun though. So anyway, we're gonna go find a hotel tonight, move our way up, head up a little further north, and uh, probably figure out the next place we're going riding. All right guys, so I forgot to film an outro for the Wildcat video in Bristol, but we're at the end of our road trip. You see where we made it to, so be on the lookout for the future videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to see the future videos, figure out how we got out to the Sea Boys shop, and be on the lookout for some new content. Later.